Hey guys, it's Alex. A little bit ago I did a video on how to get better dialogue sounds using three general tools and getting a kind of a general overview of how to use them in tandem with each other. Today I want to do a quick dive into the last of that signal chain, and that's deessers. Deessers are a specialized type of compressor that targets specifically sibilant frequencies like S's or K's, hard consonants, that kind of stuff, and they leave everything else alone. If you haven't already seen it, I did a video doing a bit of a deeper dive into compressors, go check that out. Deessers work almost exactly the same way, with the addition of what's called a side chain that allows you to tell the deesser which frequencies you want it to work on. So I'm loading up FabFilters Pro DS, which I love FabFilters stuff, I've said it before, I'll say it again, it's really easy to look at, it shows you exactly what the plugin is doing, and most importantly, it shows you the skills that you can translate to any other deesser, compressor, EQ, whatever tool you want to use. Now, looking at Pro DS, you're going to see the same parameters on this that you're going to see on pretty much every other DSer. Those are threshold, range or ratio, a frequency selection, and then wide or split band. Threshold is going to work exactly the same as a compressor. You're telling your DSer what you consider to be loud and what you consider to be quiet, and it's going to work on the stuff that you think is loud. So, depends on what you've recorded, depends on the levels you recorded it at, you're going to have to set that. Pro DS has a range function that basically says what is the maximum level of reduction that this plugin will apply to detected S's. So you'll see that parameter called something different in some DSers, but it's basically saying what's the maximum amount that I can turn something down before you want me to stop working on it. The next parameter is your frequency selection. You're just saying where in your frequency range are S's happening. And they can happen anywhere between 3 kilohertz and 12 kilohertz, depending on the, the voice that you're recording. So you're going to have to set those parameters. Usually it's just a single knob that gives you a center frequency and maybe some bandwidth around it. In Pro DS, you're able to set a top and a bottom, and that's kind of helpful. But regardless, same functionality across the board, it's just saying here's where my S's are happening. And the last one, wideband versus split band. Wideband, when an S happens, the entire frequency range of your audio from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz is going to get turned down really quickly. And that can kind of sound a little bit more natural depending on what source you're working with. Split band will only work on frequencies starting at that bottom range that you set and up. So again, depending on what you've recorded, it can kind of sound a little bit more natural or not. You'll have to A-B back and forth depending on what you're actually working with. So as I talk, I'm just going to dial in my settings a little bit. I'll set my threshold at the level that makes sense for this recording, and then I'll dial that range parameter in probably to about 6 dB. It doesn't really sound too natural going further than that, but again, can depend on what you're working with. Pro DS allows me to select a bottom and a top frequency for my S's, so I'll dial those in to roughly where I think the S's are the most harsh. And again, I'm probably going to leave this as split band, but we can listen to the wide band really quick, and depending on what sounds more natural, I'll probably select the wide band for this. And that's really it. DSers are not complicated tools. It's, it's just a really specific compressor. Uh, in terms of order of operations, I would say that if you know your tools and you know how they sound, you can put an EQ on your audio so that you can shape the spectrum of frequencies that you're working with first. You can compress so that everything is tightened up and levels are adjusted appropriately. And then last, you can DS your dialogue or your vocals or whatever vocal material you're recording so that after you've gotten everything tightened up and dialed in, you're only working on those S's and all of your plugins, all your tools are doing the least amount of work possible to get the best sound you can. And real quick, looking at some of the other software that offer DSing tools, they're all pretty much the same. Premiere offers a DSer that works the same way. Ableton, Logic, Pro Tools, Audacity, I mean DaVinci, pretty much anything that allows you to work with audio in any capacity will have some kind of DSing function and it's going to be exactly like this. So hopefully that answers some questions. If you have any more, definitely feel free to ask them in the comments. Don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, come follow me over on Instagram at AXK, and thanks for watching.